Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you are here. I'm really excited for this video because we are gonna be changing it up and I'm gonna be coming at you with an easy, simple, stress-free way to host. So, I'm hosting tonight. I have a friend coming over for her birthday. I really want to make dinner. I'm gonna be starting prepping at three o'clock. She's gonna be coming over at like 5.30. I have a coach core class at 6.30 and then right after that, I'm gonna finish up dinner and get like the charcuterie board ready um, while she showers. Hopefully this gives you inspiration to host, not stress out about it, and do a pretty good job. Please subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me and it helps me out so much. So if you like these videos and you've been watching them, send them to a friend as well. <laughs> I had the hiccups this whole time and I was like trying to get it out before a hiccup came and I succeeded. Okay, let's jump straight in. Okay, if you are out there watching this and you love to host, you have to let me know. I've gotten some amazing inspiration from my friend Jessica for hosting and my cousin Melissa. So getting into hosting, getting into cooking a couple years ago, it's been really fun to practice and create that experience for people. So you have to let me know if you do it too and have any tips for me. Um, but for tonight, it's going to be a little bit low key, just three of us. I'm making our charcuterie board list and then um, just picked a really simple recipe out of my recipe book that wasn't too stressful or too hard to make since I had cocoa tonight and not a lot of time. And now I'm just checking my fridge. I just want to see if there's anything else extra that I should pick up from the grocery stores. I also made sure I did a solid cleaning of the whole downstairs, the bathroom, switched out the hand towels. I always think that's really important. Now it is post cocoa. So we just finished the workout. I had gone grocery shopping right after that other clip. And when I got back from the grocery store, I put the chicken straight in the crock pot. So I decided to do buffalo chicken with baked broccoli and some white rice. Um, I love this meal. The chicken could cook while I worked out and did all the things. And then the broccoli, we'll just be washing it and putting it in the oven. The rice I'm gonna make in the rice cooker. So my girlfriend worked out and did the class with us and now she's just upstairs showering. So I'm gonna do all of this as she gets ready. Okay, so this is all that's gonna make up the appetizers and charcuterie board. Again, this is pretty simple. I sometimes do all different sorts of cheeses and stuff like that, but I went to Aldi, so the choices were a little bit limited. Over time, as I practiced hosting, I love these little dishes that I accumulated. I think I got these at Crate and Barrel, and they make a huge difference when creating your snacks and the presentation of it, which I really enjoy messing with that. I also use my wooden cutting board to present either the vegetables and the cheeses and the crackers. This part I am just always messing with. And this is again, I think this one I also got from Crate and Barrel.
One technique that I learned from Babe and Butcher, which is a local charcuterie board business here in Charlotte, is this overflowing board. I, again, don't have too many things, but when I'm making this board, I don't want like any space to be seen, so I just love that overflowing look. Again, I could probably play with this for hours, finding so many different ways to set this up, but I kind of went with this wave look, which was really fun and I haven't done before. Um, when I have a bunch of different cheeses, then I just create all these different sections. And again, I'm just filling in any gaps with more cheese. And this is the final look. I am gonna put this on the table, and then this part, I think I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. But essentially, I just put cashews. I love having a nut. Um, two different types of hummus that the crackers and carrots can go with and then I always have something a little bit sweet and I really love that but not a lot so those sweet stuff it's like the chocolate covered almonds um, these keto chocolate clusters and then those little chocolate coconut chips I always keep the sweet stuff really small so if someone wants that before that's fine and then after dinner I bring those the sweet stuff back out Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay, stay. We fly around like paper planes We never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are And then another thing I like to do is to have fun drink options. So I have some champagne, some white wine, some ginger beer, and then two different types of kombuchas and then different glasses to kind of pick from. Again, totally not necessary, but just fun to create that overflowing look and that impression of, oh my God, what, what am I gonna pick? Something different about us. We're pulling cup after cup after cup. Yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life. So gorgeous. Oh my <laughs> Charcuterie pre meal time has to be my favorite time. We ate and snacked and talked, and I just loved it so much. But now it's time for dinner, so I just came to the kitchen and I'm gonna prep all of our plates. I do like to totally clear 
the table so you'll see me do that in a second and again if the cooking stresses you out which sometimes stresses me out just keeping it simple like this is nothing like gourmet and this is a pretty casual night but it's still fun to have that experience I like giving that experience um, even though we're not you know eating anything that I slaved over all day cooking it still was delicious and intentional and just really good for the soul Okay, so I removed all of our snacks. The best part about that is even though you go overboard, you just put all the crackers back where they are. I just bag the cheese. I put the nuts back in the package and I return the hummus back to the package. I love filling a big um, glass like this of water to keep at the center of the table. I do feel like that creates an experience. Um, and then with water glasses in case anyone wants more water. So I start with that after I clean the table and then I'm just gonna bring the food to the table. Tonight is very casual. I would love to sometime get into, you know, creating this experience of the table and decorating it and all of that. I have a beautiful friend, Megan, who does that and her table setups are just amazing. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but I think that would be really, really fun to get creative with someday. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to not only cook, but maybe host and have your friends over. I am so grateful that you are here watching with us. I hope you subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in a Coach Core class soon.